This is WFT Champagne, 90.1 FM. You can also hear us streaming live online uh, at WFT.org. You're tuned to Shruti, music from the Indian subcontinent. I'm your host, Srinivas. And in today's show, we have a guest. Actually, we have guests on the show. So what I'm going to do is to first introduce uh, Miss Nandini Topudurti, or Nandini as we know her by. So Nandini, welcome to the show. Thank you. And uh, so Nan- what we have here is a whole bunch of children. Uh, Nandini uh, runs what's called a Bala Vihar uh, program. Uh, so Nandini, tell us a little bit about what goes on in a typical Bala Vihar class. Um, typical Bala Vihar class. We meet every uh, once a week on Friday mm-hmm. from 6.30 to 7.30. And the kids learn about um, Hindu mythology and traditional songs and skits. And um, we try to teach them human values and uh, our traditions. Um, so uh, how long have you guys been doing this? And I, I, is it a single person uh, thing or do you have a team? We have a team, okay. Shekuntala, Nukala, and I. Okay. We do it. And we have been doing this uh, since uh, 2011. Wow, that's a long time. Yes. So tell us a little bit more about yourself, uh, Nandini. I mean, uh, we have listeners from all over this place, and of course you're our usual, uh, for those of us who know Nandini very well, she she practically knows everybody in town. So our joke usually is that we have to get somebody from Mars, and that'll be the person that she does not know. But anyway, jokes aside, so Nandini, when did you you and Kiran uh, move uh, to Champaign? Kiran and I, we moved... Uh, early 2000s, uh, 2003, okay. June, from Chicago area. And um, when we moved here... Um, um, so uh, so, so w- what started off this uh, Balavihar? So were you active in the Balavihar programs even when you guys were in Chicago? Did you notice something that this community needed uh, in terms of what one has to do here get the children involved, get them some kind of an identity going. And so I just, I mean, I don't want to feed terms into your <laughs> mouth, but I just thought, I'd, so what got this whole thing going? I think I'll basically go back, you know, actually going, uh, growing up in India and uh, raising my kids in U.S., Balviar was a big part of our lives. Mm-hmm. And I used to take kids to Balviar sessions when they were young. Mm-hmm. And uh, it provided us uh, with a unique outlet to learn uh, about our culture in a way our children don't get to do in school. Yes, yes. So, so uh, shall we get? We know we have a group of six kids here ready to get started. We also have a keyboard player. Uh, do you want to check if your uh, keyboard's working? It, it is? Okay, fantastic. So we are going to mic this thing up. Uh, we are we, we have a lot less mics than we have people here, but we'll make do. Uh, so Nandini, can you tell us what is the first piece that uh, these kids are going to be playing for, uh, singing for us? Sure. Today is a Shankar Jayanti in honor of uh, Shankaracharya, uh, Adi Shankaracharya. They are going to recite Ajam Nirvikalpam, which is a Ganesha sloka. All right. Post by. Shambhu. 
That was wonderful, guys. What I'm going to do is to have you just tell us your names and which school and which grade you go to. We'll start with the keyboard player first. To the mic, please. Yeah. My name is Janaki Kapati, and I go to Edison Middle School. Wonderful, Janaki. Next. My name is Shlok Chaudhry, and I go to Booker T. Washington. Yes, Shlok. Next. My yeah. name is Jaya Kamath, and I go to Garden Hills. Fantastic, Jaya. My name is Divya Chaudhry, and I go to Franklin Middle School. Fantastic, Divya. Next. My name is Anushri, and I go to Garden Hills Elementary. Wonderful. And the last one, we got to... My name is Shriya Kamat. I go to Garden Hills. Excellent. Guys, you guys did a fantastic job. We're going to have a conversation with your teacher for right now. And then we're going to get the next team staged while this goes on. So, uh, so tell us a little bit, uh, Nandini, about what uh, they sang. And, of course, this is a Shankaracharya composition in praise of the elephant-headed god, Ganesha. And normally with most of the Indian art, uh, sort of almost the any puja in India would always start off with a propitiation, if you will, to this Ganesha. sort of Ganesha. And tell us, tell us a little, so I, I'm talking too much. We should probably hear from you. Lord Ganesha... Uh, is the son of uh, Parvati, Goddess right. Parvati and Lord Shiva. And uh, Ganesha is known as God. Of, uh, he takes away all the obstacles. So anything we start with, because we do not want obstacles. Right. And so, so we try to start with a Ganesha prayer. Fantastic. I mean, to the point that in many places, the first thing that you do is say, you almost use the word as Sri Ganesh. Iski Sri Ganesh way. This is our... Anything that you start, uh, it almost becomes synonymous with that. All right, we got the next team staged. And uh, tell us a little bit about what these guys are going to be doing. Uh, this is another composition of uh, Sri Adi Chankaracharya. This is a Bhaja Govindam. And they will be reciting the first uh, 12 shlokas of Bhaja Govindam. So this, of course, is a compendium. It's a lot larger. So what they're going to do, it, do they're going to do it in parts. That's and correct. And we're going to hear the first 12, 12 of these. All right, guys, are you good to go? Yes. All right. <laughs> Govindam, 
That was amazing. Guys, what I'm going to have you do, again, same thing, all right? You're going to basically you're going to basically tell us you're going to basically tell us your names and the school and your grade and your school that you go to. This, we, we already had her on, but hey, you, you played the uh, keyboards again, so let's go ahead. Janaki Kapadia, 6th grade, Edison Middle School. Excellent, Janaki. My name is Tanish Mohan, and I go to Booker T. Washington hey. in 4th grade. Good job, Tanish. I am on Vic, and I am in preschool. Oh, my goodness, yes. My name is Adwit, and I go to Edison Middle School in 6th grade. Excellent. 
My name is Sajel, and I go to Barstow Elementary. Thank you, Sajel. My name is Hassani. I go to Bottomfield Elementary. Thank you, Hassani. My name is Samia. I go to Dr. Howard. Excellent, guys. All right, we're going to get you guys out of the st uh, studio so that we can get the next group in. And meanwhile, I'm going to have a conversation with uh, Nandini Auntie here. Okay. So again, for those of uh, uh, those of you just tuning in, this is WFT Champagne ninety point one FM. You can also hear us streaming online uh, at wft.org. And today we've uh, have a whole bunch of guests in our studio, and uh, it turns out that uh, today is actually the birth anniversary of a very well-known uh, composer, come sage, come saint. So I almost call him a scientist. Uh, uh, Adi Shankara or uh, Shankaracharya as he's called more an 8th century uh, uh, personality and this last bunch of about 15 stanzas that these kids had sung uh, Bajago in them apparently at least I don't know if this is exactly true Nandini you can tell me more about it so apparently he was, he was walking down the streets of Varanasi and then he heard somebody uh, teaching Dukrim Karuna, which is basically a detailed gram grammatical treatise to a bunch of students, and then uh, Shankaracharya just goes ahead, and at least the legend has it that he composed these pieces on the fly. Am I right or am I wrong? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Tell us a little bit more about that, Nandini. Yeah, a popular story describes the circumstances in which this great poem broke out from the inspiring heart of the teacher. It is said that once in Banaras, as Shankara was going along with 14 of his disciples or followers, he overheard an old pundit repeating to himself grammar rules. And in this futile effort put forth for a mere intellectual accomplishment and thus wasting his time in life without realizing the spiritual unfoldment in himself. And Acharya is said to have burst forth into these stanzas. What a wonderful, wonderful thing. So this was extemporaneously composed. And of course, Shankara has given us what is called the Jnana Marga, or at least the way of attaining realization, I believe, through Jnana. And uh, such a wonderful piece. And you guys are going to sing us the next 15 pieces, are you? Yeah. All right. We are good to go when you guys are ready. Yeah, 
Sakena, Baja Govindam, Baja Govindam, Govindam, Baja Mula Mate, Sulamandira Tarumula Nivasha, Shaya Bhutala Majinam Vasha, Sarva Parigra Pogatyaka, Kasya Sukhanda Karoti Viraga, Baja Govindam, Baja Govindam, Govindam, Baja Mura Mate, Yoga Ratova, Boga Ratova, Sangha Ratova, Sangha Vihina, Yasya Ramani Ramate Chittam, Nanda Tinanda Tinanda Kieva, Baja Govindam, Baja Govindam, Govindam, Baja Mura Mate, Bhagavad Gita, Kenchita Gita, Ganga Jalarava Kanita Pita, Sakara Piena Murari Samarcha, Kriyate Tasya Yamena Nacharcha, Baja Govindam, Baja Govindam, Govindam, Baja Mura Mate, Punara Pijananam, Punara Pimaranam, Punara Pijanani Jatare Shayana, Ima Samsare Bahudostare, Kripaya Pare Pahi Murare, Baja Govindam, Baja Govindam, Govindam, Baja Mura Mate, Ratya Tarpata Vira Chita Kanta, Punya Punya Vivar Chita Panta, Yogi Yoga Niyojita Chitta, Rama Deva Yon Mata Vadeva, Baja Govindam, Baja Govindam, Govindam, Baja Mura Mate, Kastam Koham Kuta Ayata, Kame Janani Kome Tata, Iti Pari Bhavaya Sarva Masaram, Vishwam Tatra Svapna Vicharam, Baja Govindam, Baja Govindam, Govindam, Baja Mura Mate, Kwai Mai Chanya Tai Kovishnu, Varta Kufya Simaya Sahishnu, Baba Samachitta Sarvatraka, Vajasya Jiyari Vishnu Tvam, Baja Govindam, Baja Govindam, Govindam, Baja Mura Mate, Shatro Mitre Putre Bandho, Mahatru Yatnam Vikraha Sandho, Sarvas Minna Pipashyat Manam, Sarvas Tro Shri Javeda Gyanam, Baja Govindam, Baja Govindam, Govindam, Baja Mura Mate, Kamam Krodam Loham Moham, Yadva Manam Bhavaya Koham, Atma Gyana Vihina Mura, Te Pashyante Narakani Gura, Baja Govindam, Baja Govindam, Govindam, Baja Mura Mate, Geyam Gita Nama Sahasra, Deyam Shri Pati Rupa Majasra, Neyam Satchana Sangha Chittam, Deyam Dina Janaya Chavittam, Baja Govindam, Baja Govindam, Govindam, Baja Mura Mate, Sukhataha Kriyate Rama Boga, Pashyata Tashini Hai Roga, Yavya Piloke Maranam Sarana, Tadapena Manchati Papa Sarana, Baja Govindam, Baja Govindam, Govindam, Baja Mura Mate, Artham Anartham Bhavaya Nityam, Nasita Harshukale Shara Satya, Kudra Dhafidana Bhaja Bhiti, Sarva Tresha Vihariti, Baja Govindam, Baja Govindam, Govindam, Baja Mura Mate, Pranayamam Pranyaharam, Nitya Nitya Vihariti, 
विवेक विचार जाप्य समेत समाधि विदान दानम महादव दानम भज गोविंदम भज गोविंदम गोविंदम भज मूरमते गोविंदम भज मूरमते that was excellent guys we'll do the same thing again you're going to tell us which school you go to what grade you are or any in any order that you please and how old are you right so we'll uh janaki kapadia uh grade 8 uh janaki kapadia at asin middle school grade 6 age 11 excellent thank you janaki my name is ruhan i'm in bodenfield elementary excellent My name is Shlok and I go to Booker T Washington second grade. Excellent. My name is Divya Chaudhary. I go to Franklin Middle School sixth grade. Excellent. My name is Jaya Khamat. I go to Garden Hills fifth grade. Excellent. So, uh how long have you guys been with uh, this school? Okay, we go with Divya. Uh with with, with not not your school with uh, Balavihar. I've been in Balavihar for about 4 years. What about you, Janaki? Uh around one and a half years. All right, so it looks like you're the who, who longer than you. You're the f- you've taken classes for about 4 years. Is there anybody who's gone for 5 years among you guys? No. So do you like it? Yes. Tell I us like t- it. okay, give me give me give me a student's perspective. Do you enjoy this experience? Was it fun to be at the studio singing today? It was fun. There you go. And h- for four years. So, do you guys do other than stuff? Do you do art? Do you do other things as well? Yes. If there's like um, events or holidays coming up, we make things. And if there's like Mother's or Father's Day, we make presents for them. And if it's like Holi or Diwali, we play it. So tell 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 me what you know of Holi. Holi's the festival of colors. Mhm. And it's like where you have dry colors and you put it on each other's face. Excellent. So did you guys play colors uh, at Nandini Aunty's home or where did you get uh, Nandini do you ha- hold these classes at your home or Yes, it is at our place. Oh. So you guys play co- with colors and stuff like that? Yes. Excellent. Diwali. What did you guys do for Diwali? Tell us again, we have a lot of listeners here who don't know what Diwali is. So What, how would you explain it to your friends who know nothing about Diwali? Well, Diwali is the festival of lights. Mhm. And we celebrate it by using fireworks. Mhm. around the house mm-hmm. to light up because it like it means when Rama came mm-hmm. home from his exile. Mhm. So everyone lit up the place. Set up s- put their entire house with lamps and other things yeah. and stuff man that's excellent go on don't let me stop you <laughs> so diwali and then holi what are the other things that you do uh, festivals do you want to chime in janaki but hey you've been there for about a year she's been there for about 4 years now right so do you guys want to chime in anything no mm-hmm. Go ahead. We usually do some other festivals on like the birth of gods like Ganesha, mm-hmm. Krishna, mm-hmm. and one festival is like we also do um the kite festival. Tell 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 me more. Tell me more about what you do with kites. Come on. Yeah. It's called um Okay, hang on. The way how you're going to talk on this right, you remember you're going to have th- think about talking to a friend of yours who knows nothing about the Indian festivals. So how would you explain it to them? Uh, Kite festival. Let's go ahead. Yeah. It's called uh Makar Sankranti. Wonderful. It's it's most celebrated in north part of India. Yes. Uh we usually fly kites and um So did you guys fly kites? Uh no. Why? Because it is how cold is it outside so when it's su- when this holiday is going on it's super cold. <laughs> There you go. And, yeah. Um flying kites in the cold is not very No, it's not a good idea. Yes. That's certainly not a good idea. You don't want to fly kites when it's snowing outside. You're going to add something more. No? 
So, uh, there you go. So, this is a, a, a class uh, which Nandini Topuruti and Shakuntala Nukla, they both run. Uh, do you guys team up and it's all every Friday, you said? Yes, it's every Friday from 6.30 to 7.30. However, we meet at 6 to practice some of the shlokas. shlokas. So supposing we had people who have listened in on to this particular, and you guys did very well, by the way, uh, and superb job explaining to your friends what these Indian festivals are all about. So if, Nandini, coming back to you, if we had listeners and say some of them, we, we, we reach out all the way up to Danville and to Bloomington, well, it's on a good day our signals go all the way up to Bloomington. Online, they can hear us anywhere, of course. So if they're in the Champaign-Urbana area and they're interested in joining, what is the best way? We usually don't give out email addresses, but they can we forward, if anybody call the, the uh, station, can we suggest them to kind of get in touch with you or Shakuntala? Definitely. Yeah. So right now, what's, I mean, just the sheer size of people that were here, this is just a small part of your class or is it all of your class? It's just a small part. So there you go. So roughly speaking, how large is the It's group? about 40 kids. Yeah. It's, a, it's about 40 students and actually a lot of credit should go to Nandini as well as Shakuntala for having run this and they've been running it for a while and many of us at some point in time or the other have sent our children uh, and uh, so apart from just learning all of this stuff these guys have a lot of art and other fun related activities as well so uh, is there anything go ahead yeah yeah we do community service as well tell, tell me more about so that. the community service we were doing before and we want to start again is we used to pack lunches for the canteen run mm -hmm. uh, every Saturday, mm -hmm. uh, and those lunches were given to the homeless people. Okay. Um, and then other community, we would reach out to India too. These kids did a tremendous job collecting funds for, example, the Chennai floods, yes. and also the Nepal uh, uh, earthquake. earthquake problem. And yeah. also, there are a few other uh, community services we do is uh, help kids who are in need fund their education excellent so um, paying for a student's education right so if again uh, it doesn't have to necessarily revolve or have an indian orbit so to speak but if there are needy people that do need help and of course as best as possible uh, this particular group uh, can definitely help and if you are listening in and you think that this is something that you want to avail of Please do get in touch with us. Uh, you've been. This is Shruti, music in, from the Indian subcontinent and WFT, Champagne ninety point one FM, and we can put you in touch with uh, Nandini and the Balavihar folks. And the other important thing, of course, is that if you are a grown adult and you want to help out with the community service part, uh, that's something that. Definitely, definitely you, you, you do need uh, warm bodies uh, yeah. to do all of this. So are we having, do we have another song that they're going to sing or are they pretty? They are done. They but are done. I just wanted to let everybody know that they had done a, a tremendous job doing a play for Discover India mm -hmm. at the, on campus. And they're doing, and we, they asked us to do it again Excellent. in August. I see. So it's about a play about Ganesha. Excellent. But 22 kids participated in that and they did a wonderful job. What was the play about? It's about birth of Ganesha. Okay. So we did this kit so that kids get understand um, while doing the play how Ganesha was born. Excellent. Excellent. So the and you've done this for which specific audience though? This was for the graduate students. Okay. So and the, on campus. On campus and stuff. Wonderful. And again, uh, thank you so much for I mean, being here. And thank you guys for being here and doing such a great job. And you have to thank your friends who are outside the studio, I guess. Uh, but let's not bring them all in. We don't have enough room out here. So again, good job. And what we're going to do is transition over to another uh, well-known uh, Shankaracharya composition. Um, it's called Sonderya Lari, and let me just play that while we do the uh, necessary goodbyes out of this particular thing. So let me just...
शक्तुक्त यदि शक्त प्रभवि न चे देव देव न खलु कुशल आराध्या हरिहरिंजादी प्रणंत तो कथम पुण्य प्रभवती तव चरण पंखे विरचयति लोकान विकल वहत्म शौरी कथम सहस्रेण शिरा